Now that we've inserted our chart, created our chart, resized and, re and placed our chart where we want it to go, let's format a chart. In order to do this, I'm going to select the chart so that I have the Chart Tools tab. I'm going to select Format so that I can format the chart. This particular chart, I want to change the quarterly four data series which is the purple. So I'm going to select any of these in that series. When I click on one of them, you'll notice that each of them are now highlighted. I can go to my Shape Fill list arrow. Here's Shape Fill. Here's the list arrow. And now I can pick a color that I would like for it to change to. I'm going to select Orange Accent 6 since it is fall. Then I'm going to click any column in the th quarter three series. From here, I'm going to select the More button on the Shape Styles gallery. Here's the Shape Styles. Remember, the down arrow with the line over it is the More button. I'm going to select it. And then I can pick from here which one I would like to choose. I'm going to select this one. This is the Moderate Effect Olive Green Accent 3. And you'll see how that changed my chart. Now I'm going to click the Subtle Effect Olive Green and I can change it again. You can work and see which colors you like that work best. You may not like the preset and you may want to change it to how you prefer or perhaps the company you're working for has certain colors that they use in all of their advertisements and their quarterly reports that you need to make sure that you're using as well. Make sure you save your work so that you do not lose this information you've created. Next, we can annotate and draw on our chart. Make sure that your chart is selected. We're inside of the Chart Tools Design and Format tab and I've selected Format. From here, inside of the Insert Shapes group, I'm going to select Insert Text Box. I will click on it. When I do, you'll notice that my cursor has changed. I'm going to click to the right of the chart, anywhere outside of the boundary. So I click here and that creates a text box. I'm going to type in Great Improvement. And then I'm going to point to the edge of my text box so that I get that four-sided arrow again. And I'm going to drag it here inside of my chart. Once I'm inside of my chart, I'm going to let go. Now I want to insert an arrow. So I'm going to click back on my chart, come back to Format, and here at my Insert Shapes, I can select the arrow that I want. I'm going to click on my arrow, and I can determine where I want this arrow to go. So I'm going to begin here at Great Improvements, and I'm going to come here and select the location where I want to show great improvements were made. Then I'll let go. And that puts my arrow where I need it. I can determine if I like the size of that arrow, if I want it thicker or a different shape. I can come up to the shape styles. I can select shape outline or select the down arrow. I can change the color. I can change the thickness. So I have some control over the way the information is displayed. Make sure once you've made your changes that you save your work.